Welcome to the next instalment of my thrilling 30 Beers for 30 Years series. We're looking at a Stone Cold Classic. It is Erdegers from Boone. Yes, it's a 7%, 100% traditional Lambic Ale. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that was an experience. I thought that was going to piss anywhere. That was under so much pressure. That was unreal. I thought that was going to literally fly out and there was going to be beer pissing everywhere, but... I managed to save it and do it slowly. Normally you have to sort of like force them out a little bit, but that one was ready to pop. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, so I stuck this in the box because I love sour beer, I love lambic, and I don't drink enough of them. And this is probably one of the most readily available Gerzas in the country because they actually stock it in Waitrose for like £3.25 or something like that, which is where I pick my bottle up. I've had various vintages of it before, and I just can't wait to can't wait to to tuck into it. Let's give it a little pour, shall we? Yeah, that cork was weird. That was gonna just literally explode out at the top if I if I hadn't sort of like wedged it in. Actually, there is quite a nice, interesting spiel on the back, which you don't always get on these sort of classic beers. But Erdiger's Boon is one of the finest examples of the traditional hundred percent hundred percent hundred percent. 100% spontaneous fermentation Lambic style. To moderate the sourness, Boone only brews Lambic in the seven cold months from early October into April, according to the traditional turbid mash system. This Lambic beer is aged for one, two or three years in oak casks. The blend and mild average 18 months old Lambic, unsweetened, unfiltered, unpasteurized, is re-fermented in the bottle and can be stored for up to 20 years. Not that fucking cork, that would have exploded long before then. Brewed in Lembeek, the village that gave Lambic its name. There we go. Ooh, smelling great already. Almost looks a bit like a dessert wine. The actual body of the beer and then it's very loose white bubbles on the top. Looks fantastic. I can hear the carbonation singing there. Give it a little swirl and sniff. Wow. Oh, it's oh, just not so good. God, there's a load of like funky esters coming out straight away. A little bit of green apple. Bit of a, like a vinaigrette dressing. So quite sharp, acidic aromas. To bring it back down a level, it's got a bit of a Harry Bowes Tanfastic aroma to it. If you crack a little bag of those puppies open. There is a sweeter toffee... Because, because of the sort of green apple thing, it's almost like a toffee apple. That smells great. Oh, it's made me salivate. Let's, like, let's, go, let's go for it. Cheers. so drinkable oh well yeah i mean this one is more on the apple side of things it has a it has a like a, a, a cider like quality to it which is actually very pleasant there's a tartness but it's not overpoweringly sour it's not sort of like whoo, wincing yeah it's almost like lemon sherbet boiled sweets but that's so good i need to i need to get this more really the fact that it's just sort of sitting in a on a waitrose shelf yeah, there is a little bit of a like a Belgian a Belgian funk to it as well. It's just good stuff. Okay? Simple as that. So if you've missed any of the other 30 Beers for 30 Years videos, then feel free to look at the playlist down below. Go on, look down there. Look down there. But that was everything from Boons, Erdegers, Up and Jake. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.